Hello, this is Mesh. I thought it would be fun to examine the new Stranger Things episode list from season two. As we've got a bit of information, obviously a bit of rumours, a whole lot of assumption, so I thought it'd be fun just to, I guess, put my spin on it and work through the episode names with, yeah, a combination of assumption and rumours and come up with where I think they're going to go in each episode. So please take this all with a grain of salt. As you know, the grain of salt, a whole truckload of salt, as it's more just a bit of fun. Okay, so let's start with the first episode, which is called Mad Max. Now, this is the one we probably have the most information about. Because obviously, the first thing, Mad Max, um, that's clearly a reference to the George Miller movies from 79 and 81. And the timing is about right, too. Obviously, this the um, Stranger Things Season 2 is set a year after the first one. So we're looking at late 84, 85. So that type of movie time frame, it would still be a heavy reference in that time. So whilst it's a kind of a point, point of reference to the movie, we kind of have the information we have about the character starting is it kind of ties in with them. So this is the one where I'm confident that something's going to happen. So we have a new character. Actually, we have multiple new characters, but, but one of them, her name is Max. So already we're looking at the name of the characters in the, in the name of the episode. And her brother, as well, um, drives a Camaro. So she has you know, access to a car. So I'm thinking already that it's going to be something involving her and her brother in the car. So maybe there's a car chase. And also, remember that the first episode, they've stated that it's not going to be in Hawkins, Indiana. So it's a separate thing. Maybe it'll be open up with a car chase. That would kind of make sense. But it definitely, for me, it surrounds that character and a car and possibly, you know, maybe they're out of control uh, children or something. So that, that one is kind of pretty simple, but I'm pretty confident that that's probably about right. Okay, and on to the next one. Now this one is The Boy Who Came Back to Life. Now, once again, bit of information on this one. If you remember from the end of season one, there was a newspaper newspaper clipping. Now, that had the title, The Boy Who Came Back to Life. And that was a reference, once again, to Will Byers. So, this one, for me, this will be the first episode back in Hawkins, Indiana. And I think Will will be dealing with the, I guess, the when he has was host to that slug. Maybe he has more slugs in him. Or maybe he's just struggling with the dimension of the our dimension and, and the um, creature's dimension. And something about him, maybe yeah, he'll he'll disappear again. Maybe he'll go back to the other dimension somehow. So definitely it's going to be a, a, a concentration around that character and something he's dealing with. Okay, and on to the next one. Now this one's pretty vague. There's nothing, there's no information about it. And it's called The Pumpkin Patch. Now for me... Once again, assumption, guesswork. I'm thinking that this is a reference to probably Halloween. Not the movie. Well, it could be about the movie, but more about just the time. Uh, Halloween and a whole lot of pumpkins. So maybe it's going to be an episode set in, yeah, when Halloween is happening. So everyone's obviously dressed up as scary monsters and things like that and funny things. And possibly, you know, the, maybe there'll be a creature on the loose and no one will be able to tell if it's real or not. So it'll be pretty interesting if that's the situation. Now another one here as well. So the next episode is called The Palace. I've seen some articles mention they think this is a reference to um, at the end of the uh, very last episode of season one, they were talking about the prince and the princess and they're thinking it's about that. I don't think so. I think this is something that we don't know yet. Um, I, I, would, I could be wrong, obviously, but for me, I think this is just something random that we'll never guess. Okay, so I'm moving on to the next one, which is called The Storm. Now, this, for me, it could be, you know, that something is brewing, like the storm is brewing on the horizon, or maybe it's there's a storm going to break out, and it'll be a wild, wild weather and something else will be happening, or maybe it's nothing, none of those. So once again, that one's pretty vague. So let's just leave that like that, because I think yeah, the palace, the storm, I think they're a bit vague to actually pick up much on. But on to the next one, which is the polywog. Now, I've had a thought on this before. I mentioned it in a, in a previous video. But for me, there's two options here. So the polywog, if you look it up, what the actually meanings are, so that it's twofold. And one of them, it's, it's about the whole, um, I guess, frog and tadpoles 
and the spawning. So for me, that could be a reference to um, the creatures in the Upside Down. Maybe there's some creature and how they evolve, and how we'll see that process. Or maybe there's scientists involved in that process. So it could be something to do with that. And the other one, which I would like to see, but I think it's a bit far-fetched. The other option is also um, a polywog could be a sailor that's never crossed the equator. Now, as soon as it's mentioning sailors in this time frame with this crazy references to conspiracies, conspiracies and stuff like that, I th I'm thinking of the Philadelphia experiment. So possibly we're looking at Philadelphia experiment and maybe we'll find some sailors in the upside down. Something, you know, who knows, but that's that's my two options for that episode. I've gone into that episode a bit more in my previous video, so check that out if you want to. And another one here. Next, the next one is the secret cabin. Now, once again, um, I've seen people mention um, a ref. They think it's a reference to Evil Dead. I don't think so. I'm a massive Evil Dead fan. Evil Dead One, Two, um, Army of Darkness, and the remake was okay. Uh, and the Ash vs Evil Dead TV show, which I'm actually looking forward to starting again soon. So I'll cover that when it comes out. Um, but for me. In all of that, the cap Ash's cabin that he went to was never referenced as a secret cabin. It's a cabin in the woods. It's not secret at all. It's just very remote. So I don't think it is that. I think, if anything, it's possibly more um, a reference to the castle that the, um, the Byers brothers have made. Um, I mean, it could be something completely separate, but that's the closest thing I'm assuming, because it, it was kind of you were kind of made to believe it was a secret place where they would hang out. So I'm thinking, yeah, maybe, I mean, cabin, obviously not, but maybe that's what they call it. Actually, they call it a castle. So, yeah, I mean, it's tricky. That's That, for me, is the only option. I mean, if you look at, the obviously, the cabin behind the buyer's house, it does kind of make me think of Evil Dead a little bit, but I don't think that was the intention. Um, but, yeah, I'm thinking, if anything, it's the buyer's castle. And on to the next one. So the next one is the brain. Now, this could be Dr. Martin Brenner. Um, I don't think he's dead. But then that's saying that he is, I guess, the mastermind beholder behind the whole thing. And I don't think he is. Whilst I think he is obviously high up and he's in control, maybe it's like, I guess, if there's multiple bases that we're dealing with here, maybe it's a bigger thing and maybe there's a... Um, the the you know, the head honcho comes along, so that is the brain of the organization. Once again, not much to go on on that one, but that's kind of my thoughts. And the last one, which is the lost brother. Now, we have a few options for this. I'm thinking, one option is that there'll be someone arrive into the episode that's been lost for a while. That we don't know, you know, some main character has a brother that we've never been told about. So maybe, you know, um, the sheriff has a brother that was long long lost and he'll arrive back. Something random like that. It could definitely be an option. But we also have a few brothers which I think we could lose as well. So we got the, I guess, the Byers brothers. So um, I don't think it will be Will. If anyone, I think it will be Jonathan. That would kind of make sense because maybe him, uh, maybe Jonathan and Nancy, you know, maybe they reignite what was kind of happening in season one and maybe then he gets lost or maybe he gets captured or something. I think there's a bit of a chance. It's, I think the highest possibility is it's probably Jonathan. But we have another option as well. We have the new characters which have come along. So there's a brother and sister there. So that brother could also... Uh, I guess be taken and the last one which I kind of forgot um, who is actually a brother I didn't think about it but it's Mike as well Mike Wheeler so he could also go missing you know the same as Will so there's a couple options there I'm kind of thinking it's Jonathan but I'm you know at, at that point at this point it could be anything you know this is a whole lot of fun and assumption and that's all of them so it's a good list and I think yeah, the first few we have a bit of an idea, uh, but as as it goes on, I think we're I'm, I'm you know stabbing more and more wildly into the dark, and with a whole bunch of crazy ideas. But yeah, I hope you hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed thinking about it, and a lot of guesswork here. It's quite cool. So if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. 
obviously a thumbs down if you didn't. Leave me some feedback below and subscribe for future content from myself. And check out the Strain videos as well, which I'm doing. If you're not following the Strain, it's a good horror TV show um, that's on at the moment. So pick that up if you've never seen it. It's quite cool. And until next time, cheerio.